Africa Global Radio. Our story, our growth, our future. Headlines across Africa. You are welcome to Headlines Across Africa. I am Mary Ejapoma Kisi. In the headlines today, Egypt's president says the country rejects any displacement of Palestinians from their land into Sinai or any other place in order to protect the Palestinian cause from liquidation and to defend Egypt's national security. In Ghana, the National Communications Authority approves Starlink satellite broadband application. And Kenya's government cautions against blanket ban on TikTok, recommends stricter measures by regulatory bodies. Egypt's president, Abdel Fattah el-Sisi, says his country continues to completely reject the displacement of Palestinians from the Gaza Strip into the Sinai Peninsula. Egypt is concerned an Israeli ground assault on Rafah and southern Gaza would push hundreds of thousands of displaced Palestinians across the border into its territory. President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi says, since the developments that the region has witnessed over the past months in the Israeli war on the Gaza Strip, the Egyptian stance from the first moment has been to completely reject any displacement of the Palestinians from their land into Sinai or any other place in order to protect the Palestinian cause from liquidation and to defend Egypt's national security. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu says Rafa is Hamas's last remaining stronghold after more than six months of war and that sending in ground troops is essential to defeat the group. Egypt, however, opposes any move that could send despairing Palestinians fleeing across the border onto its territory. Rafa also serves as the besieged territory's main entry point for humanitarian aid and an Israeli attack could restrain the deliveries of key supplies. Rafa's population has increased from 280,000 people to an estimated 1.4 million. In Ghana, the National Communications Authority, NCA, has approved SpaceX Starlink Ghana Limited, the operator of Starlink satellite broadband, to provide satellite broadband services in the country. A statement issued by the NCA says the approval of the application follows the policy approval of the satellite licensing framework in Ghana by the Ministry of Communications and Digitalization, and that the administrative processes towards the line issuance of the license is ongoing and will be completed shortly. According to the Minister for Communications and Digitalization, Oslo Ousu Ekufo, the plan to license Starlink's application to operate in Ghana was part of the government's efforts to address the internet disruptions in the country. While updating Parliament on the major internet disruptions that hit the country on March 18, she noted that Starlink was in the process of being licensed and encouraged other operators to land in Ghana. A parliamentary panel in Kenya has been deliberating on a petition urging the prohibition of the social media app TikTok. This recommendation comes in the wake of allegations from the Interior Ministry that a platform has been exploited for disseminating propaganda, perpetrating fraud, and sharing explicit material. The government, however, is cautioned against a blanket ban on the app. In an advisory communicated to the parliamentary panel, Kenya's Ministry of Information and Communication proposed an alternative approach. Rather than opting for a TikTok ban, the ministry suggests the implementation of a co-regulation framework. Under this proposed framework, TikTok will be mandated to screen its content to ensure compliance with Kenyan laws. Additionally, the platform would be required to submit quarterly reports to the government detailing the material removed. And that is how we end today's headlines across Africa. I am Mary. For this and more, check us out on africaglobalradio.com, on Facebook and YouTube, Africa Global Radio, on Twitter and Instagram, AF Global Radio.